I first was tattooed the day I turned 18, um, and my first one was my flower. Uh, and I've gotten about two years since. Um, I have ten right now, and I've gotten ten in the span of about four years. Um, usually the inspiration for them is uh, a person or an event in my life. Um, my flowers are for going to college. Um, they they're cherry blossoms, and they represent um, female empowerment and independence. Um, I have a bird cage on my back that, um, in which there's a bird with antlers, and it represents um, kind of this beautiful, unique, strange thing that has been captured and is kind of breaking loose. Um, I have the these knees on my knees, it's my silly tattoo, that one really didn't have a meaning. Um, I have a sailboat for my father, um, the word thank you for my mother, uh, and I have a little red riding hood and big bed wolf on my feet because I constantly shoot myself in the foot. Um, I have a side piece of where the wild things are because it represents me hanging out to my childhood. And um, I have the words bravery, hope, and joy on my side because I feel as though those are um, the things you need to have in a crisis or else you won't make it through. I feel like it scares a whole lot. Um, I haven't really as of yet been treated differently, but um, in the process of acquiring an apartment, I, um, I went in and I had every single one of my tattoos covered. Um, there are definitely situations where I know I would be treated differently for them, so I proceed with caution. Um, in moving to Brooklyn, uh, I think the tattoo community and the tattooed community, um, I, I don't know if we necessarily have to be more extravagant with our tattoos and stuff like that, more showy or anything, but I do believe since it is becoming so popular and, um, I hate to say it kind of mainstream, but not really. Um, I think it'd be better if we kind of maintained ourselves in a way that kind of eludes the stereotype of how kind of harsh or intense people with tattoos can be, because there's this horrible preconception of people with tattoos as being kind of these gnarly, hardcore people, and a huge amount of people I know who are almost covered are very kind, and I think I mean, there is a certain flashiness to having a whole bunch, and if you got it, swamp. her second tattoo ever when I got my first, and she right now has three and plans on getting more, so she's very supportive. My father believes that um, God made your body how it should be, and that you should never do anything to it, so he kind of hates all of them, but he um, he's learned that I'm going to do what I want with my body, um, as long as I'm healthy. Um, and generally, um, a lot of my friends like them, a lot of people are very supportive about them, but it's just, I get a lot of know when to cover up when you should. Um, as far as my favorite one goes, um, that's a hard question because I love every single one of them. Um, I think symbolically my favorite is the thank you on my ears for my mom. She helped me through a very difficult part of my life and that was from the, um, visually, it's a tie between Little Red Riding Hood and Big Bad Wolf and my side piece of where the wild things are. Um, both have really good detail and, I don't know, both I feel it's like really well. Um, 20 years, how will I feel about my tattoos? Um, well, I would first like to say hopefully I have quite a bit more. Um, I try to go into everything 
like every tattoo I get and everything with the idea that I will want to see this on myself in that amount of time and I want to be that cool old lady with the tattoos and I don't really plan on regretting them ever so I don't think I will.